Hello guys, this is this is the first video related with uh, FEA, Finite Element Analysis, of course using Hypermesh from Altair, and um, this part corresponds to the discretization of the continuous model. Uh, the continuous model is the airplane, this airplane specifically is a Spitfire model, which a uh, Merlin 6 engine um, by, Ro by Rolls Royce, at a certain velocity of 3000 of RPMs, approximately. Oh, then, uh, we can see here a uh, middle surface, but first of all, we're gonna talk about uh, the volume. We have to hear the wall, we have the inlet, we have the outlet, and this volume uh, encloses the air, which is going to... Uh, it's going to interact with the surface of this airplane. This analysis corresponds to um, aer an aerodynamic analysis and and heat transfer. So we have to recall our knowledge in fluid mechanics and heat transfer, of course. Uh, talking about uh, fluid mechanics, we have to recall the boundary layer uh, theory in order to see um, the leak force and drag force of this airplane. And um, for example, these geometries are related with the exhaust bulbs of the engine, so that heat is going to be generating from these uh, outlet, uh, yeah, outlet surfaces. And we have to remember that uh, when the heat uh, increases, the density of the air decreases. So we are gonna see how this heat uh, interacts with the environment. Affecting, of course, the, um, the approximate approximation of the density and the pressure of the wind. So that here we have see um, how it is going to affect the leak force and the drag force. And later on, we could uh, optimize. I mean, increasing the leak force or reducing the drag force. But we're using we're using a middle surface. And that is because um, we're gonna just we're gonna just um, calculate the middle of these models. So in order to save uh, computational resources. So I'm um, talking about in general terms. Um, we have here the discretized model. We have the fuselage. We have the backside. We have the wind. We have the excess bulbs. And uh, of course, talking about the propeller. Uh, propeller. The propeller is inside of this thing, and that is because uh, here it's go it is going to be meshed by CFD uh, and using a um, moving reference frame, so that this fluid is going to be uh, moving, uh, just in order to transfer its motion to the propeller, because the propeller is going to be rotating, and the nose of this. So, uh, in general terms, again, we have discretized, meshed uh, the interior. Oh, let me mask. Whoa, the, inter the interior. Yes, and we can see here. Um, let me mask these elements. Okay, and the airplane, of course, and the propeller. And we can see here, for example, this the near elements to the into, into the interaction, the boundary, into the uh, this fluid rotation of fluid and the propeller. Uh, there is uh, elements which represents the boundary condition of this. So uh, we can we can I think uh, this mesh is is it's great. And in general terms, um, let me let me let me whoa, no. Interior, yes, interior and of game symmetry and mask all. In general terms, talking about the quality of the mesh, it look it looks great, uh, but uh, for a first approximation of this model, it 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 really look, looks great. So this is the first step, and we're going to we're going to export this file from um from um file which can be read by um, 
by ANSYS, specifically Fluent. CFD, CFD, Fluent. And we're going to we're going to analyze it into Fluent, setting setting up the boundary conditions. The, that that just uh, discretization of the model. So remember, we're using HyperMesh and we're going to see the results into uh, Fluent into Fluent software. 